Think how many times Jesus used this phrase. You have heard it said, and I am saying. This is what they say. Here's what we say. That was a familiar phrase that Jesus used as he challenged the narrative, demythologized the thinking, deconstructed the way we've always done it. By using this phrase, you've heard it said, and now I say, Jesus was also igniting creativity by extending the invitation to imagine what's possible, to believe in the impossible. This is the Jesus I am called to follow. And as a follower of Jesus, I am called to do what Jesus would do. As followers of Jesus, we are called to do what Jesus would do. And I firmly believe that this is also the calling of ARM and that this is the work that ARM is doing and that we have all been called to follow. We're all part of this ministry. So in closing, I want to share quickly two more reasons why I am passionate and determined about the work of the anti-racism ministry. Then we'll open the floor for conversation. First, I want to be on the right side of history. <laughs> I've been on the wrong side for far too long because my eyes were blinded by the narrative. So I want to be on the right side of history. And the second reason is this work has brought me full circle. It has brought me back to revisit the questions I had as a child. And it's given me the opportunity to revisit and revision my childish innocence and my childish wisdom. It's the essence of Sankofa, the West African practice of looking back to gather the wisdom from the past carry it forward into the future. The anti-racism ministry has brought me back to what I witnessed as a child raised in a small white town in northern Indiana by well-intentioned Christians who refused to answer my childish questions. Why did you call that dark-skinned man lazy? Do you know him? That was a question I asked my dad who I adored. Why can't I be friends with Diamantina Tapia? What difference does it make if her family is Mexican? That's the question I asked my mom, who dearly loved me. What about Naomi and Rebecca? You tell me they're Native Americans. And you tell me that the missionary did a really great thing by adopting them. In fact, you told me he saved them. Why don't they look happy? Why do they look so sad? Why do they look like something's wrong with them? That's a question I asked at church. The church which introduced me to the God who loves me. How can those people be heroes if all they were doing was killing? question I ask my history teacher as he taught me the narrative which shaped me. Those were my childish questions and what I was doing unknowingly was challenging the conquering narrative. And I was challenging white body supremacy, much to the dismay of all the well-intentioned people who surrounded me. And a child shall lead them, said Jesus. You've heard them say, and now I'm saying. I am determined to have ears that hear and eyes that see. And I hope you will join me. Let's do it together. Let's do this hard work of being an anti-racist community.